Alright guys, this video is over 6.1. The first most important part of 6.1 is this right here. This is our key that we're going to be using. Before 6.1, we learned a lot about how we should multiply decimals, and we use these different tricks and everything, but now we're dividing with decimals. Now, anytime you see um, you're dividing, and you're dividing by 10 to the 4th, 5th, 6th, whatever power, or if, it's use, or if you see a decimal divided by 10, 100, 1,000, 100,000, something like that, then you can use this trick also. So just to refresh ourselves, when we multiply by a decimal, when we multiply with a decimal and a 10, the number is going to get bigger and your decimal is going to move to the right. But when we, mul when we divide, it's the exact opposite. When you're dividing with a decimal and a 10, the number now goes down and the decimal is place is going to move to the left. If I were you, I'd pause this right now and write down this key because this is going to help you with the rest of the questions. So for our first question, sixty divided by a hundred. So we know that we are going to be dividing, and it's something like a ten, ten hundred thousand, hundred thousand, everything. So we know our decimal is going to go to the left. Now we ask ourselves, well, how many times to the left? I see two zeros. My decimal is going to go two places to the left. Well, in 60, I don't see any decimals. It's hiding. Or in, when we can't see a decimal, that means it's an invisible decimal. Our decimals that we can't see are always hiding at the back of the number. The back of the number would be right here where the zero is. That's where our secret imaginary decimal is hiding. It's going to move two places forward, one, two, and it's now going to be in front of the six. So the answer ends up becoming 0 0.6 would be our final answer. Let's work on the next one. 8,020 divided by 10 to the second power. So, first thing I see is, okay, we're dividing by a number that's a 10. It's also 10 to the power of 2, and I know that my number is going to get smaller. My decimal is going to move to the left. Well, how many times to the left? My power of 2 tells me right here it's going to be 2 times to the left. So, but I don't see a decimal. When my decimal is hiding and I cannot see it, I know that it's always at the back of the number. That's where my imaginary decimal always lives, right back here at the very back, if I can't see it. It's going to move two times, one, two. So it's going to end up between the zero and the two. My answer is going to be 80 and two tenths. I could add that zero at the end, or I could take it off. It could be equivalent either way. Next question. 150 divided by 10 to the third power. I'm dividing by a number of 10, and so I know my number is going to get smaller. My decimal is going to move to the left. Once again, I don't see my decimal. It's hiding. I have an imaginary decimal. My imaginary decimal is always at the back of my number. Right here, that's where they're hiding at. So this one is going to go three hops left. One, two, three. This is where it should be at now. My new answer is 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths is how you could also say it. Let's try a few more. 3,500 divided by 10 to the fourth power. I know that I'm dividing by a product of 10. It's going to be 10 to the fourth power this time. My number is going to get smaller. It's going to move to the left. Well, how many times to the left? Four times to the left. That's what my power says. 
So I need to put my decimal down. And I don't see a decimal. That means I have an imaginary decimal. My imaginary decimal always live at the back of my number. So it'd be right here. It's going to move four places forward. One, two, three, four. Four hops forward. So my answer is, is going to end up being zero and thirty-five hundredths. Next question. If I had 720 divided by 100. Well, I am dividing by a product that's 100. I mean, a product of 10. And I know that my number is going to get smaller and my decimal is going to move to the left. How many times to the left? Well, how many zeros? I see two zeros. So now I have to see where my imaginary decimal is. It's always hiding at the back of the number. It's going to move two hops forward. One, two. My new number becomes seven and two tenths. What if I had this equation? Three and twelve hundredths divided by ten to the first power. We know that my number is going to get smaller. It's going to move to the left because it's being divided by a product of ten. It's going to go, the decimal is going to go to the left one time because there's a one right here. My decimal this time is not invisible. It clearly can be seen right here. It's going to go to the left one time. My answer ends up becoming Three hundred and twelve thousandths. Alright guys, that's all for today. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, I want you to write on a small little piece of paper your favorite book to read. And then I want you to hand it to me and I want you to be really secretive about it and make sure no one sees it and don't tell anybody else. And then I'm going to have a little surprise for you. Thanks guys!